Ah, what a lovely view. Anyway, <laughs> tricked you. Yes, we are looking at a poster there, a very nice panoramic one. We're in the middle of a sugar beet harvest. So let's get back to the farm and we'll get it done. Yeah, so today we are going to be very busy because not only do we have the sugar beet to finish from the previous episode, but also we have a cornfield to harvest. So there's nothing in the harvester currently. So we'll just part that there. Let's get this going again. Yeah, in the previous episode I did much more than I was expecting to. I thought I'd just be doing the headland, but as it turns out we've done about 50%. Maybe even more. But I'm enjoying this roper. Really nice harvester. I will of course go back to any bits I've missed. You can see there is a very thin slither of sugar beets being missed there. But I can't get over the forest, it just looks so amazing. And I know that the growth was extremely fast for just a year, uh, considering they were planted as baby saplings, but yeah, even so, it looks good and we'll be a step closer to cutting some of them down. We're going to process some, probably the spruce trees, maybe some pine trees, and yeah, eventually we'll have a production. I think it's the carpentry production, if I'm not mistaken, uh, so we can actually use the wood. But yes, yeah, so I'll be looking into that nearer to the time trees can still grow quite a bit. Put the conveyor belt in. So yeah, you can see what we've got left. We've got this block here, we've got the uh, strip over there, and then just a few areas that need tidying up. So uh, it won't take too long. The corn harvest will take longer. We also have to get the harvester over to the cornfield, which will take a while. <laughs> Our harvester isn't exactly known for speed. And fill number 12 is on the other side of the map. But it's looking good. Already 25% full. So we'll get the trailer filled over there. Then we'll head off to the train station. Uh, the price won't have changed since the previous episode. It's still bad. But whenever the price is good, we will sell it. And it's going to be about a quarter of a million litres, I would imagine. Okay, let's crack on. We're nearing an end. So, as I said, nice fast job to start off the episode. Now the corn which is over in film number 12 should be ready by now. When I last saw it, it wasn't ready. Uh, but I'm fairly sure that was in September, so... Well, if it isn't ready, it's very late. Should certainly be ready by the end of October. Do keep missing bits, it does seem to be somehow more tricky from the first person view, which is unusual. Okay, and the final pass of the field. Now pick up the random pieces which have been missed. And yep, there's the train. That's where it's all going to be going in a few months time, when the price is right. But the sooner the better, because we could really do with the money. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to be, probably in the region of 80 to 100,000 pounds. And from a field of this size, not bad, but remember we do have almost 35,000 pounds worth of renting, which suddenly makes it seem bad. There we go, right, so let's just get those final few pieces. And I don't think it's all going to fit into the trailer. So annoyingly, I'm going to have to come back just for a very small amount. Done. Okay, all finished. We need to return the harvester. 
It only took 0.6 hours in total. Real time. So luckily we don't have to pay any more rent. Since we didn't go over an hour. Okay, will it all fit? We might be lucky. Ooh, very nice. It did all fit. Okay, so you've been fantastic, Tiger 6. Success. A nice machine. Shame it costs so much. It's just, yeah, the renting just seems ridiculously high. Um, but of course, we are paying for the privilege. Good. And now, save it. Uh, let's take it over to the sell point. So, it's going to be, actually, it's not going to be as much as I thought. In total, we do have less than 200,000 litres. So we just need to make sure the price is really good when we sell it. Still looks to be a really full load though, 88%. This is the third load I've brought to here. Being careful every time not to hit the roof when it tips. Just got to be almost out of the trigger. So that we do clear the roof. Might be a bit too close still. Oh yes, that's going to be too close. There we go. Good. So in total we had 171,664 litres from that field. Price is best, apparently, around January, February, March time. We will see, because sometimes that is not accurate. And um, yeah, we'll be summoning the train from this button and we can load it from this pipe here. So that is all to come in the near future. The current price, as I stand on the train line, is um, 349. This place, the train, will be the best eventually. So we'll take this back to the farm. We need to return the trailer because that's not mine. I did rent it. It's been a great help. And then we can take everything over to fill number 12. I am certainly considering getting a low loader because that would be far easier and faster to get the combine over there. But of course we still have to get the traction trailer over there. I need to look and see what the top speed of our combine is, but I'm guessing it's about 12 to 15 miles per hour. I might be wrong. Hopefully I am. Hopefully, hopefully it's at least 20 miles per hour, but we'll have to see. The trailer has been returned. I park my lorry back over here. There we go. Ready for transporting more fruit and vegetables in the near future. So yeah, low loaders. My combine does 12 miles per hour by the way, I've just looked. So we're going to be going over to that field probably quite regularly because only the top section is going to be olives to begin with. Eventually it might all be olives. So we can get something for 24,000 or 15,000, probably not big enough. And then we have two American style trailers. Uh, this one, does it need to have a dolly? Because I'd like to put it on the lorry, but yes, it looks like it does need to have a tractor pulling it. Okay, um, right, so that does obviously cause a few issues. What I normally do when I need money is check the price for eggs, because if it's good, then we can make a lot of money. But no, the price is not good. Well, it's good at the bakery, but you can't really sell much there. So we're just going to have to drive it. <laughs> this once, we're going to have to drive it. It's going to take a while. Luckily, we don't need to take a header trailer, because the corn header is going to be pretty small. It needs to be rented. 969 pounds. Uh, so yes, yeah, so let's just let's just go, and uh, I'm sure if I do it as a time lapse, this will be fairly painless. See you in a second.
yep, it's ready, it looks good, and of course it hasn't been fertilised, so it's just going to be a standard yield, nothing special. And there's nothing to really hit, a worker just can't hit anything here, so I'm sure the worker will be fine. What I need to do is go over to my grape processing plant to see if all the raisins and grape juice have been produced. I'm sure they will have been, because uh, it doesn't take that long and it's been a month. Okay, looking good. Turn the beacon off, leave it to get on. So if I just go over here, my JCB is still there. Looking promising. Uh, yep, it's finished, so we need to switch off, deactivate both of these. And some of it is being stored currently, the rest of it is all out here, so if I just move these to one side, more pallets should spawn. Keep them in the same categories, lots of grape juice. Should be one more pallet of raisins, I'd imagine. Just see if another one appears. And maybe not. Ah, oh, there it is. Better late than never. So that's about right. That is everything. So we need a trailer. Uh, let's just go back over to the farm. I can see that the price for raisins and grape juice are both very good. So let's get this pickup truck over there. Uh, it's probably easier to go the other way, actually. Much faster. And we can just go down the hill and sell our produce. There's our combine, getting on very nicely. Hopefully we'll make more than £950 back, since that's what it's cost for the header, and we have also workers' fees. Could do it myself, but obviously I want to get other stuff done as well. We'll finish it. I won't use the work for everything, because that's just lazy. Uh, yep, so let's just get these done as quickly as possible. Pull in here somewhere. And, yep, just put these in here. Actually, I think I'm... Oh, I've got super strength on. Okay, I'm not going to make a habit of this. But it would just delay things unnecessarily if I was to go back to get a pallet fork for the JCB. I'll make sure I don't do this again. Uh, right, so... It should all fit. Should have put them in the other way around. That would have been the sensible thing to do. That can go in there. And we'll put a couple... No, let's just spin these round. Just makes so much more sense to put it that way round. And then we have space for the, uh, the single one on the back. Right, put a few straps over. One over this one. If I can get in. There we go. And we shall sell. So that's exactly 3,000 litres of raisins. And 2,160 litres of grape juice. And a fantastic view of the field. That is our sell point just down there. I think there's actually a track. Oh, we can cut across here. I did that before. Just got to go steady, there we go. And then we go into here and we can sell them. This should be quite good. Twenty thousand six hundred and sixty three. Not as good as last time. So that was a whole year's worth of grapes. Uh, and using a production. So, yes, not really what I would call a profitable thing to be doing, considering just one vine is extremely expensive. My full-length vine, which I currently have, is probably 12 to £13,000, I think it was. Uh, so, yeah, if grapes weren't fun to do, I wouldn't do them. Sorry, worker. Your time has come to an end in this harvester. Let's finish off. Now, we're not going to fit it all in. It's going to be close, but we're not. So, I don't know if I'm close to a sell point. If we are, a suitable sell point, I could just take the harvester there, 
and unload straight out of the auger. But chances are we're going to have to get a traction trailer to take it to a suitable sell point. The previous load went over to the train station. But this one is going to the farm shop and that is literally just there. What were the chances of that? That's incredible. So, yeah, in that case we can just take the combine to the sell point. And if we can get the auger in, because I think it's probably the sell point with a canopy over it, we'll be able to sell just directly, but we'll have to see. Will it really be that easy? Good corn crop. I didn't expect to get a full load, and it looks like we are going to. Just approaching 100%. We don't really need to get 100% since the next load is going to be about 10 to 15%, or maybe 10 to 20%. I've uh, just noticed you can actually see the corn in the tank. And the corn pieces, the corn kernels, do look very big. Okay, so there we go, we've made it. I really like the effect of the wind blowing across the crop. In some fields it's much more obvious, and this is just a perfect example because clearly it's open here. Not many trees around, it's going to be quite breezy. It's a big open space, and you can see it really blowing across. I notice in a time lapse it kind of looks like a day when it's sunny but with some clouds, and it kind of looks like a shadow from the clouds passing over the field. But it is in fact the crop blowing in the wind. But either looks good even if you do think it looks like clouds still realistic so I think it's that cell point just there so this is where it's going to be a bit of an issue uh, there is a possibility that we're going to be able to do it I'm not holding out too much hope because it's not what we're supposed to be doing but I will just see if I can do it Ha! <laughs> there we go so it's actually this side of the markers, but it's accepting it. They got a corn header through the window, but not to worry. So it's a bit of extra money for us. And this can be deducted off the price of the field, since we were just given this crop it was inherited. Almost there. Load number one has produced £10,767. This is why it's worth buying a field with a crop already growing in it. We have a lot of deer over here. Interestingly, the time I see them the most is when I'm on the roads. They seem to be on the roads. But it's nice to see that we now have them in our forest. I'll finish it all off. Then we'll sell the rest. Then I don't think there's anything else to do in October, so we can move on to November. And I think we're going to be doing mostly spring drilling and planting. Uh, we'll do some sorghum, which is spring. Uh, possibly some work with the planter. Yeah, let's just keep the cultivation work this side of December and all the drilling work in the next year. Can we get 20%? This will be interesting to see. It's possible. So yes, uh, we decided... Well, I decided. <laughs> uh, I decided that in the uh, spring, we are going to start planting olive groves in this field, but only up the top there. 
I do not expect to make a profit. I'm only doing the olives to experience them and uh, to show them off. And because hopefully it's going to be really good fun. So it's not all about money on this farm. We're making the money from the chickens, all the other crops. But it seems that the grapes and the olives, we would have to have a seriously big area full of those two to actually make massive amounts of profit. We are now starting to profit, I think, maybe, just, uh, off the grapes. Well, they're probably not quite yet. Um, but yes, it's not uh, fancy. It's not anything really substantial. Okay, let's see if I can get this back into position. Not too much to sell. We've got 16%. So that is another 1,822. Let's get back to the farm. Right, there we go. The corn header has been returned. It's been handy. I'm not too sure if we ever found out how much money we had to pay the worker. Yes, it probably came up a few minutes ago, which I've just missed. Uh, but it can't mean too much. So we definitely profited from the corn. Just going back past the cover crop field. That needs to be cultivated up in the new year. That will give us an application of fertiliser. And uh, yes, there's rain coming very soon, as you can see in the forecast. So yeah, I don't, ha I really don't have anything else to do. Um, do the sheep have a bale? Yes, they do. So there is literally nothing. <laughs> it's all sorted. The eggs will have to be sold when the price is good, which must be in November. So, pop this away in here. And yes, very soon we can start to store the lettuce and tomatoes again. We could do strawberries actually for a change. Because then, we make more money. And over the winter we have more time, so... Yeah, we can start to do that. But first, let's just rest. Sell anything we produce overnight. Oh, and we can check and see what kind of used machines we have available in the sale. Okay, so we have a auger wagon, a very big auger wagon. Look at the size of that. Not sure if we'd ever need that on this series. Highly unlikely. We have a power flow header, which is very affordable. Only good though if we're getting a massive focus and combine, which I would love. And oh, this will be useful in the future, but again, we don't really need it now, so it would be a bit of an impulse buy. Let's just check that power flow header. Um, yeah, so that's going to fit to. This combine, I'm guessing, yes, it's going to be the ideal. So, unless that comes in the sale, it's not ideal. Right then, so let's just very quickly check and see how things are getting on. Yeah, we have £60,000, which is nice. Better move that. I'm starting to stockpile the honey again, which I'll do for a long time. Just sell it when we're desperate, or... I can't move that because that's glitched into the ground. I can't even dig it out. Yeah, we'll sell it when we're desperate or if we have loads of it. And just move these out of the way. Actually, just to finish off with, do we have a good price for eggs? Because if we do, we could finish with a decent amount of money. Uh, yep, that's acceptable. Anywhere near five is good. So I need to go and get my pickup. But we have a lot of cultivation work to do in the next episode. I've also checked the price for sugar beet, and it's currently not bad, but I just don't know if it can get better. It's really annoying. Uh, it's 400 and something. Put these the right way around. 465. Which I know is not the best place, but we're sort of taking advantage of their storage, so we're kind of paying for that. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we have all of the next episode to decide. The price isn't going to change much in this day. Um, yeah, I don't know. The price fluctuations, I'm not really going on these anymore, but it should be its lowest in August. We're now in November. Here. So technically it can get better, but from experience of looking at those, it won't necessarily. I think I might just risk it and try and get 
a better price in December. Uh, I know it's risky. At the same time though, I'm sure the station aren't too happy about me keeping all my sugar beet in their storage area. Off we go. I'm getting too much again. I don't like to stack it. If we have to stack, we should be using a bigger trailer. This is going to set us up so nicely for the next episode. And in fact, it's going to set us up very nicely for our next tractor. Because I think that is the next thing to buy. We now have a drill. I know it's not very big, but it's good enough. So, next tractor I want to get is a Matty Ferguson. We may well sell the two smaller tractors that we have, but not the Landini, obviously. <laughs> we need to keep the Landini. And we do also need to buy a Fent vineyard tractor for the olives. So, yeah, it just depends what kind of money we can get from the other two tractors if we sell them. As you probably noticed, I'm not using them much anymore, so they are a bit in the way. Anyway, £54,253. Very, very nice. Bringing our total... What do I keep hitting? I hit something here every time. It's weird. Um, yeah, it's bringing our total to £114,901. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.